This is a image of a giraffe that the computer has never seen. It's only looking at the fMRI data, and this is what the computer thinks the human is seeing. What? Yeah. Now, to get state of the art, here's where the combinatorial aspects, why you can start to see these are all the same demo. To do this kind of um, imaging, the latest paper, the one that happened even after this, which is already better, uses stable diffusion, uses the thing that you use to make art. Like, what should a thing that you use to make art have anything to do with reading your brain? So in this one, they said, can they understand um, the inner monologue, the things you're saying to yourself in your own mind? Mind you, by the way, when you dream, your dream, like your visual cortex runs in reverse, so your dreams are no longer safe. Um, but we'll try this. So they had people watch a video and just narrate what was going on in the video in their mind. So there's a woman, she gets hit in the back, she falls over. This is what the computer reconstructed the person thinking. See a girl, looks just like me, get hit in the back, and then she is knocked off. So our thoughts like, are starting to be decoded. Yeah, just think about what this means for authoritarian states, for instance. Or if you want to generate images that maximally activate your pleasure sensor, anything else. Okay, but let's keep going, right? To really get the sense of the combinatorics of it.